Goethe, A Flame in Winter is a narrative game that takes place during World War II. It's 1939 and the German Nazi army is advancing on the small Denmark town of Tinglift. Goethe, born to German and Dane parents, must navigate her allegiances, most of all with her soon-to-be husband Anders. In this RPG story adventure that takes place over five days, you guide Goethe by locating items, making critical choices, and planning your day by choosing locations to visit at the exclusion of others. Want to join the resistance? You can do that. Side with the Nazis? Sure, but come on now. Become a smuggler, killer, an agent of peace? It's your call. How you play determines your ending. You can live or die, keep track of clues and character secrets in your diary, and every time Time you play, you'll unravel something new. Play through it multiple times and discover everything there is in this intricate story. I loved how your relationships and social skills constantly changes based on your choices. The story's personal and historical and easy to grasp. If a character dies, you feel it, and you probably caused it. The game does suffer in terms of graphical quality, though. It has a pretty watercolor appearance, and its environments put you right into a deep winter that made me feel so cold I had to grab a blanket. On the other hand, it has a PS2 era look to it with some simplistic camera movements straight out of the opening of Final Fantasy VII. Seriously, a little more effort on that front would have done wonders. This is the first game published by Don't Not, the original developers of the Life is Strange series, and I was hyped to play through because nobody does stories like they do, and it didn't disappoint. I've already played through it twice, and its streamlined dialogue means the stories can diverge quite a bit each time. It plays like a wartime storybook. Curl up in a chair and roleplay it however you see fit. Can you keep Anders alive? Gerda, a flame and winner, gets an 8.5 out of 10, and fans of narrative games will love the choose-your-own-adventure story that's being told here. I need a few things from the market. Perhaps Margit will be there. I'm curious to know what she thinks of today's events. We hope you enjoyed this 90 second review. Our reviews are designed to be short and give you a quick opinion of each game without spoilers. Looking for more? Join me, John, and my partner Drew on the Dads After Dark Show podcast. We're part of the Nintendo Dads family of podcasts, but not so kid friendly. We talk about Nintendo, dad stuff, Nintendo hotties, you know, stuff you don't hear on other Nintendo shows. Search for Dads After Dark Show on any of your favorite podcast apps.